I wanted to give an update on the mini quad. I've had quite a few questions about it, as well as the multi Wii. I'm flying with the multi Wii Flip, $15 flight controller, and it's just amazing flight controller for that low of a price. So, in this video, I want to demonstrate how to set up your Tyrannus switch so that you can change from acro mode, which is what I'm flying in right now with the default gains, to horizon mode. Before we set up the self-level mode, let me also point out that I've designed and 3D printed these booms. Now, originally, I was flying with these wooden dowel rods, and mainly, I didn't do booms made out of PLA because I thought there was going to be a lot of vibration. They fly really well, and I'm going to put a link to the updated files where you can 3D print the entire frame, including these booms. This is the multi wee flip from Ready to Fly Quads. We're going to go from channel 5 on our receiver to auxiliary one, this first empty port right here. Okay, so now we have channel five going to auxiliary one on the multi Wii. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the switch. Pretty Welcome straightforward. So we're in our main menu. Hit menu. See we're in the mini multi Wii. It's the mini quad multi Wii, so I'm gonna hit page. I'm gonna go to page six. Then I'm gonna scroll down to Channel 5, press and hold enter, and then I'll hit enter for our source. We're going to set our source to this SF switch. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that, and you'll see that that source changes to SF. Hit enter, hit exit, exit again, and we're done. What I like to do just to test that, so I'm going to hit page once, twice, three times, and you're going to see that channel 5, a switch. So down is negative 100, and up is all the way at 100. So that looks good. Now let's take a look at the multi Wii GUI. Now that our switch is configured, we're going to connect our multi Wii to our computer. Make sure that our FreeSky Tyrannus Welcome to Tyrannus. and our mini quad are powered up. Okay, we're running MultiWii GUI 2.2. Now we want to select our USB serial port. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then you'll notice we click Start. If I move my quad, you'll see that data come across. Now if you recall, we wired channel 5 to auxiliary 1. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my transmitter switch. You see that go up and down. So let's go ahead and set our level modes. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and set up Horizon. I actually prefer Horizon, so I'm going to demonstrate that. Now you see that I've selected the high column and highlighted it. So when I flip the switch, you'll see that Horizon lights up. So now that's configured. Click right. Now that's saved. Okay, now that we've written our settings, that's all we need to do. We'll go ahead and shut down the multi wii GUI, disconnect, and then uh, test horizon self-level mode. Okay, so we're going to take off in acro mode. You can see it switches back. That's acro and that's going to be our horizon self-level. So let me go ahead and arm. And this is what I was flying with earlier. And the default gains on this thing are perfect for the mini quad. Okay, so you can see that my attitude stays. If I roll one way, it stays. If I pitch forward or back, going to stay. Now let me go ahead and toggle into our horizon mode. Okay. So I'm not a good toggle now. Now watch what this does. This is actually a pretty cool combination. It's like a, it's like a mixture of self-level mode with acro. You'll notice that when I roll, it kind of eases back into stability. Same thing for pitching forward and backwards. It's a lot different than the normal self-level that you might be used to where it immediately snaps back. It's just a real casual deal and it makes it fun for really getting on your sticks and you know, messing around. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back into acro mode. See it maintains attitude. Let's 
So that's how you set up one of your switches to toggle between acro and horizon level mode on the multi Wii. I've really enjoyed flying in horizon auto level mode. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. Uh, this is firmware version 2.2. And once again, these booms will be available with the rest of the frame on Thingiverse. I'll post the link below. Hope this was useful and until next time, thanks for watching.